<coughs> Let's go play some try hard duos. <coughs> Hopefully, my teammate isn't a uh, isn't a mouth mouth breather, right? That's all I want. I just want him to not be a mouth breather. I'm gonna be right back real quick. Putting my bowl back. Gonna wash it and shit. I'll be back in like less than a minute. Not even gonna go put on the AFK. Oh my fucking god! We're good, we're good, we're good. We're fine. Did, 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 did I even have a partner chat? Was I solo the whole time? <clears throat> so JC forgot, JC was here over, uh, over here earlier. She forgot to put the, my root beer back into the, the fridge. And now it's all warm and shit now. So I had to go and put it back. I had to go toss it in the freezer real quick just to, uh, you know, give it a quick chill. Get to work. I was like, damn it, woman! Damn it, woman, my root beer! Can you imagine drinking lukewarm root beer? Damn it, woman! Also, I love you very much. Alright, continuing on with the video. I choose duos! Why am I... Why am I alone? Well, at least I've got a dead silence and, and, a, and an origin shotgun, so... Dropping and immediately getting yourself an origin shotgun plus dead silence is an amazing start. Given the normal circumstances, I would have been very, very aggressive, but um, unfortunately, there was nobody here. Okay. Okay. Um, Nope. Enemy UAV overhead. Wow, that wasn't a hit. That was a headshot. Why was that not counted as a headshot? And you know what's worst? I lose the guy. Oh. So as you can tell, uh, there's nobody anywhere around me. So we're just going to be fast forwarding this until, uh, you know, some action comes up. And it'll be right about... Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Bruh. Wait, my 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 armor wasn't full. Guys, don't make my mistake. Always armor up fully before you go into your next engage. God. Oh my god, dude. Pay attention, you'll be out there soon. <coughs> oh no! Poor guy. This fight and you return to the front line. But if you lose, right. you're done. It's time. Break some. So, as you can tell, I very quickly scanned the battlefield for another loadout drop because that would mean if there was another one, there would be somebody around. Haven't they probably haven't picked up their loadout drop yet, or maybe they could still be in the gulag. Uh, but seeing as there was nobody here, I knew it was safe. I picked up my kit. I had a little bit more time. Uh, normally, I would do it really quickly, but I thought about it a little bit. Do I want a little bit of range? Do I want close combat? Looking at my situation, I thought, you know what? Long range would be best. That's why I picked up the RI Tech and the AMAX. Amazing weapons. Maybe should have took a ghost kit instead. Uh, maybe should have took a ghost kit instead. One guy, do you see one guy right there? Enemy contact. Now, 
The reason why I didn't immediately start firing at the guy was because I practiced trigger discipline. Trigger discipline is basically the uh, act of controlling yourself from taking a shot until you have a clear, crisp angle to take down the enemy with, right? So you generally, you know, when you're around a corner, you don't want to, you know, be engaging an enemy that may be able to run to cover. Uh, you want them to make the mistake or at least uh, relocate to an area with, which is a little easier for your kit to handle them. Uh, and, uh, you know, you want to make sure you win 100% of the fights that you take in Warzone if you want to win. So, uh, yeah, trigger discipline, guys. Practice it. Fat chop, fat. You must an escape chop. You thought I lost it, much, chat. You guys probably thought, oh my god, Rajin Sheep Pepe, so fucking hard. He's, he's gone and lost that, that easy kill. All prisoners are being released from the gulag. Get ready. Oh, you guys back, chat. Uh, don't forget to armor up like, uh, like I did. I completely missed out, uh, armoring up. And now I'm one armor plate less for the next fight. Not very stacked, but like, you know, he's got some stuff. I think I have the advantage now. Great enemies fighting on that side. Very, very far ahead. I'm just gonna keep an ear and eye out. So looking at the loadout drop, we can very quickly tell that there are at least two more of the squads that are around me because there were two other boxes that spawned right on top of mine. And on top of that, there were two other squads on the right side as well with the two boxes on the right. So I played careful. I immediately think go for ghost. Change out that weapon loadout into a close proximity one because looking at the map, it is seeming like the circle was going to close in around the houses and, you know, being not a lot of space left, it would make sense, you know, in these little tight corners of these houses, it's very easy to take somebody out with a shotgun, with an origin shotgun. And I basically go for it and uh, playing to my weapon kit's advantages, I was always indoors and I was always quiet, waiting for people to push up to me rather than me pushing up to them. Now we have a strong advantage because we have the jump on the on the uh, crates as well now. Ooh, Ooh somebody's using the uh, the right tech very aggressively like that. Can I get a peek? Can I get a peek? Having ghosts at late game is a huge advantage because you are able to hide from enemy heartbeat sensors and UAVs. Pick up your first kit, your overkill kit, whatever, and then pick up a ghost kit right after because it will make the difference. So the reason why I am hard focusing on this angle right now and not too much on my back is because first of all, nothing is happening behind me and I already saw two guys running in from that same angle as well. And seeing as there are two more guys joining them very, very soon, that means there's going to be a fight. I'm going to keep my eye on here. I'm going to third party whenever I get the chance to. The trick here is to keep your engages as short as you can because you don't want to attract unnecessary so attention uh, from behind. the other squads that probably are waiting for that said fight to break out, you know, so that they right, can intern third party. I'm 
Wait a second. Where are you gonna fucking? Come on. I know you wanna pee. Enemy contact. Target spotted. Remember trigger the spin, guys. So the reason why I marked them and not shoot them immediately was because one, my kit isn't long, medium to long range anymore and uh, it's 1v2s. I don't want to give away my position by pre-firing early or you know, opening on an engage that I That's was going to lose. To because if they, st if I started shooting, people are going to know I'm here, they're going to push on to me or you know, even if they stop shooting, you know, they already, I've already given up my position, it's not ideal. Just make sure you mark your enemies so that the game will put a physical marker in the, on the mini map for you and on the physical game map for you uh, while you focus on uh, finding out where the other squads that are still hidden are. Now as you can tell, the number of players and squads have dropped and that means one squad won, one squad lost. This is the perfect time to go aggressive because you use this time while they're arming up, while they're looting, while they're not paying too much attention and you want to take advantage of this fight, this timing to clean them out and reposition again. Note that I am hesitant to run out first because first of all, I have a gas that? mask. I can take my time. I've got at least five to 10 seconds of, uh, you know, invulnerability to the gas. Uh, I won't make any noise. No one's gonna know, uh, you know, no one's gonna hear me coughing and stuff. Nice. I'm gonna try to take my time here. Uh, unfortunately, the enemies do not and they push up. They try, they see me running to that little corner over there and they wanted no part of the, my victory. They wanted me to go down hard. They start pushing, but I played smart because I have an origin shotgun. I know I'm most effective when they are face to face. And this guy pushes up. I almost the bigger, very, very hard. I managed to take him out. I managed to outplay his friend and clean up that last kill for that win. All because I decided to play to my kid's strengths and also play slower and smarter. Enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you guys learned something from, you know, this little educational video that we decided to put up uh, for you guys. So let us know in the comment section below what you thought of it. You know, did it help you? Did First you learn anything new today from this video? Right, it'd be really awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video once again. Have yourselves a good day, a good night, a good afternoon, wherever you're from. Peace out until the next video. GG boys, thanks for the game. Good luck next time. What's up, Pansul Tibet? Alright, good luck with your next game. Thank you very much everybody for watching this video. If you like the content and would like to show your support to the channel, feel free to drop us a comment to tell us what you thought about the video. Like and subscribe to the channel and make sure the notification bell is on to be notified of new videos in the near future. If you want to catch these crazy moments live, you can find us on Twitch and also maybe consider connecting with us on our Discord channel if you would like to play some games together. Huh? Also, don't forget to follow me on my socials as well. All relevant links are in the description below. Thank you once again for watching. Catch you in the next video or maybe even better yet, catch you on the stream. Huh? Bye!